Yeah, my name is Carly McHenry, and I was a painter for the Lifeline ex exhibition. So this is um, Susan Shapiro, and I painted her with acrylics first, just to get kind of a general um, idea down and play with color, because um, acrylics dry very quickly, so you can play really nicely. Um, and then I went in back uh, with oil paint to kind of accent colors and um, make some colors pop. Yeah, um, well, so I read the thing that I was sent about Susan, and it said that she has been working in the nursing field for 40 years, so that in itself is amazing. Um, and she's also working with COVID patients, so that's very inspiring. Um, and then I went and snooped her Facebook profile, and all of the pictures of her, she was just so um, bright, and you could just feel a warmth kind of, just even through the pictures of her. And um, she had some pictures of chickens on her Facebook, and I thought that was adorable. I didn't include the chickens in the painting, but I did include what I'm assuming is her dog. <laughs> um, so I was just really inspired by um, more the pictures of her that I found um, than the actual text, just because I'm a more image-based thinker and um, can connect to imagery better. Yeah, so um, in the profile that I was sent, it said that in her spare time, she is actually sewing masks um, for people. So not only is she working in the COVID universe, she's also at home um, making things for the COVID universe. And um, she also had a lot of um, pictures of knitting and um, different knitting projects that she did. So I included a knitting bowl up here. Um, and then this photo back here that I painted is actually a photo from when she first started nursing. So it's her like nursing, I don't know if it was like a graduation or something photo, but um, so it included her past as a nurse and her present as a nurse. Um, I mean, I hope that she recognizes herself first off, um, but I hope that she feels kind of um, that it represents a bit of her story and that it emanates some of her warmth and kindness that I've heard about and I've seen in other pictures. And I hope she, um, I hope she's a little proud. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for, as an artist, a lot of times you're alone in your studio anyway, um, so that didn't change my life too much, but um, I'm also going to school for art therapy, so all my classes were switched over to online, and that's been a little bit difficult, just not getting that same um, connection to my education, and so I can only imagine what... Um, all of our students are going through not getting that connection to their teachers because um, it does make a difference um, in the education process. Yeah, so that's been a little bit difficult. But exactly, yeah. Um, gosh, <laughs> I don't know. I just, um, I guess just to the audience and um, people in general, be flexible um, with each other and kind to each other. We're all kind of going through a roller coaster and we need to be there for each other and show up. <laughs> yeah.